here today to uh, talk down Bermuda or lament the challenges that the global economic environment has brought upon us. We're here today to, hunt, to honor the numerous young Bermudians who have benefited from the PLP, PLP government's investments. In response to the worst global economic crises since the Great Depression, we've taken swift action to stand strong for our Bermudian people. I am sitting here today with just two of those many Bermudians who have benefited from our training programs. Over the past several months, we've provided training skills and opportunities to countless Bermudians. When we recognize that there was a lack of Bermudians um, working in our restaurants as service and in our hotels, we came up with the Waiter Server Program, which since which has trained countless uh, young Bermudians and encouraged them to enter into the field of hospitality, specifically in waiter serving. Not only have we worked with the graduates, we've worked with the businesses to ensure that these young graduates have been afforded opportunities in working in that, that field. We have young people presently working at the Reef successfully, at Spot, to name a few. Not only have we concentrated on the hospitality trade, I've had meetings in the past with the contractors of Waterloo House and Hospital. And with that, we, have, uh, ex we had explored the opportunity for providing a drywall training program. And out of that, 17 young men attended four weeks of, court, of coursework in Atlanta. And we have one of the successful young graduates here with us now. They've all come back suitably certified with their five level drywall skills and are working um, quite actively in their professions, in their new professions. Now, while we have not con we not have not concentrated just solely on the trades, we've also spent some time with regard to the professional realm. And we have some 25 people right now enrolled in either the CMA, the ACCA, or the CPA programs at the Bermuda College, completely paid for by government, a joint initiative between between government and the Bermuda College. Why? Because we recognize that we need to ensure that our young people with interest in accounting afford the opportunity to get their certification so they, that they can fill the roles of the accountants that are needed in the international business sector. But that's not all that we're doing. Right now we have 10 young women uh, doing a nail tech course at the Bermuda College, all expected to graduate next week, um, next month, December. And we have already had people signed up to take them on in their employ for employment. So while some may talk down Bermuda and throw their hands up and vent, we're taking action. And we admittedly and unapologetically do have more work to do, but we have a vision. We have concrete plans to put more Bermudians to work. We are spearheading the job for Bermuda, which we have just completed a three segment of town hall meetings throughout the island. That will be pursued in the, in the not too distant future. We have the One Stop Career Center, which will um, be realized and occupy the old magistrate's court building um, next year spring. So these are evidence of the things that we are doing to provide opportunities for those that are unemployed or underemployed, and in particular provide opportunities for our young people to further develop their career aspirations. So I'm proud to sit here this morning standing strong for these young Bermudians who are benefiting from the PLP that is standing strong for them. I'll now pass on to my colleague to bring some remarks. Thank you, Minister Marnas. And may I add happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning all. Today, we gather here to highlight some of the various opportunities that this government has provided over the years for training for the people of Bermuda. Far too often, we will hear people focus on the negatives. And I wish to, say, I wish to highlight today what, they, uh, what are the positives that are going on in what we're doing to train our people. We have people that all they want to do is focus on the negatives and wish to highlight what, is, what they feel is wrong with our country as if there is nothing positive going on, as if there is nothing being done to provide for the, our citizens to have a chance to, to succeed by this government. I have been canvassing the constituents of Hamilton South for the past year and a bit, and I'm never surprised to hear the many stories I hear from the people who are appreciative of the various opportunities that this government has afforded them to improve their skill sets. 
However, that's not, that, that is not something that actually surprises me. Because as you see, I believe in our young people's ability to learn if we give them the chance to learn. I don't see a bunch of lazy boys sitting on the wall. I see a bunch of boys that have untapped potential. This is why I committed myself to learning the various opportunities that do exist and passing that information on whenever I can and to as many as I can. It's not uncommon to see me sitting on that same wall in Devil's Hill on a Friday afternoon and have young, have young men come up to me and ask for advice on how to upgrade their skill sets or how to pursue further education. Instead of thinking and speaking negatively, I investigate and find out what this government is doing and become part of the solution rather than content to sit in the sidelines and cry down each and every one of the initiatives put forth. I'll give you a few examples of some of the people I've come across. Where I get my haircut, there's a barber that's there. He has a young daughter. Every time I go in there, we talk about the daughter. I want to know how things are going with him. Uh, we talk, I talked to him and I said, hey, why don't you try and see if you qualify for daycare? And he did. He went and applied and he did qualify for daycare. Now, that initiative is allowing him and his daughter's mother to go and pursue other opportunities to upgrade their skill set. She is now employed. He is now able to use the money that he would have used for daycare to do other things for his young daughter. While canvassing earlier this summer, I came across an elderly lady who had unfortunately been laid off. However, she has used that time to go to the Bermuda College and enroll in some of the PACE courses and improve her skill sets. And she is now, she is now about to open her own business. Again, while canvassing, I came across a young man who actually I know quite well, but I didn't realize that he'd been enrolled in the landscaping uh, project, the landscaping program that had been put on by the NTB. He is now currently, he's, he matriculated through that program, he's now currently employed. He's excited about his employment. He's excited of the fact that he was given an opportunity to learn a new skill, and he's excited at the direction that he's going now. He's, he is about to have a young daughter and he, he knows the he knows that it's happening in December and he's looking forward to that and but he's excited that he's fully employed and he's able to provide for his young daughter. I have actually lost count of the amount of young people who I've sat down with over the years. I've listened to, referred them to the various programs within the NTB and they've taken it on and provided and taken on the training opportunities provided. Most of them have followed through and find themselves in better positions than they had before. Some are still in training and looking to be employed. I am not going to sit here and tell you that we've gotten it right all of the time. And I challenge anybody to claim that nothing is being done. This is a claim you hear far too often from some segments in our community. It pains me to listen to some people speak negatively about our young people when their interaction with them is minimal at best. It pains me because when we do sit down with these young people, they are hurt, they are disappointed, and they are discouraged because they are trying hard. They are trying hard to be better people, but they're being. They're, but they have to listen to all these negative comments being made about them. Programs like Job Corps and the One Stop Job Center are being put in place to help our people. We are all facing difficult times, and any programs that are looking to assist young people with encouraging their skills from a holistic view need to be applauded and supported. Instead of complaining about a program that's in its infancy and just starting to grow. I invite anyone who has suggestions for improvement to just simply bring them forward. Our people don't need to hear just the negatives. They need to know that we do care and we are standing strong for all the Bermudians. Today we have a young man that I first met as a, met as a senior at Cedar Bridge nine years ago during a mentoring program that I'm still a part of. We have stayed in touch over the years and while he doesn't know it, I happened to be at New England Institute of Technology when he did graduate. A few years ago, we sat and chatted, and I encouraged him to look into the National Training Board's, the training board's agreement with the Indian government. This is a program that provides all expenses paid training for college graduates who are looking for uh, certifications. This young man, he did take advantage of that, and he's here today to give us a testimonial. Good morning, everyone. My name is Noriko Burgess. Um, I was made aware of uh, an opportunity or an opening rather, and the NTB for to travel to India, all expenses paid. And although I already have my degree in electronic engineering, sometimes you come back home, you find yourself, you know, looking through the paper, looking for a job, and you find you, you don't quite meet the requirements. You know, you need 
more they require uh, certifications and stuff. So when this opportunity became available, I went in, I looked at the programs that they had, and they had a networking course, which included CCNA, MCITP, A+, and N+. So essentially, it was a three-month accelerated program, which encompassed those four uh, courses. I told them I came back and, you know, going through the paper or going through the job sites, I now see that I am more equipped um, to become more, more competitive, rather, with my counterparts in Bermuda. I came back from New England Tech and got a, I had a Bachelor's of Electronic Engineering, but it just wasn't enough. So through the NTP, I can say that they have helped me with uh, becoming more competitive in the uh, job market. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. See, uh, Noriko is but one of the hundreds of young men that the NTB has helped and continues to help over the years, especially since I've been a board member. And I'd like to talk about some of the programs we have currently. Currently, since 2010, we have 67 apprentice contracts signed from industry partners. There are currently 40 Bermudians part of the National Vocational Training Program, six trainee sponsors currently overseas, 52 sponsored at the Bermuda College currently. 18 currently sponsored within the PACE department, and 10 enrolled in a joint program called the Sigma Corporate Service Program with, the, with Belco. This is a program that is designed to help young men become cert internationally certified in power engineering. As I said earlier, this government is not perfect, but we are a work in progress. However, fear of making a mistake is not the reason to not try, and this government will always try when it comes to training our people as we continue to stand strong for all Bermudians. Now I invite uh, the Sir minister Lionel, to speak. Sir Lionel Painter is one of the participants in the drywall program, four week course overseas. And he's returned, and I wanted to give him the opportunity to share his experience as well. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to say thank you very much to the government and the NTB, first of all, for letting me and my counterparts go away to Atlanta. It was very, very well attended, you know. It was a very good course for you guys. It meant more things than just drywall when we was out there. You know, it ended up giving us life skills that we can use on an everyday basis. So it became a all rounded class and made us more well rounded people. Very good experience, you know. Came back here, we had jobs waiting for us. And it's something that I know that a lot of people have a lot of problems with, but it was very, very good to get the young guys out there teach us some things that we didn't know, get us our credentials, you know, bring us back here, get us working very hard, producing for the country, you know, and being a positive role model for the people that's looking up to us coming up. You know. I must say that from my experience, it was very, very good. You know, working along with my dream and my work, like more things, you know, I'm starting to move forward now, expanding my workforce, and you know, my working knowledge with people. Very, very good thing that we should be looking forward to be sending more people away so we can have more people out there doing things like this so for us. You know, it's something that was very, very good with putting ideas in young people's head that they don't have to be just sitting doing nothing. We've got people here that's looking out for them to help them move forward in life. It's something that I'm very, very grateful for. I must thank the government and the MTV for this. Something that's moved me forward in my life and helped me progress very sincerely.